What's up, guys? This is Manoj Pani. I welcome you all on behalf of the Edupedia world. It's been a fantastic morning outside, and I'm sure that you guys must be enjoying your life to the fullest, guys. Certainly, you are. So, how's your preparation going on with the remaining subjects? How's your preparation going on with SFM? Is it going good? Wonderful, guys. So, uh, this is going to be the seventh video presentation in which I'm going to discuss with you the remaining. questions which have already been asked with respect to the topic of derivatives this is going to be the final video of this particular chapter by now i am hoping that certainly you guys have revised your topics completely and surely you are thorough with the concepts whatever the kind of uh, things that institute expects out of you guys i have made you understand each one of that particular thing so i just hope that you are retaining your topics time and again because that is something which is extremely imperative for each one of you don't skip on that guys remember it so let's mark the beginning of this particular presentation which is going to be the final conclusion of derivatives and i hope you guys are going to be liking it like anything so this question was asked in ce final examination for may 2012 it says ram buys 10000 shares of x limited at a price of 22 per share whose beta value is 1.5 and at the same time he sells 5000 shares of a limited at a price of 40 rupees per share which is having a beta value of 2 he obtains a complete hedge by nifty futures at 1000 each he closes out his position at a closing price of the next day when the share of x limited dropped by 2% share of a limited drop uh, appreciated by 3% and nifty futures drop by 1.5%. This is nothing but an extension of a question which I made you understand in my last presentation. Remember guys, I had a very similar kind of concept uh, in my last presentation as well. Therein I didn't incorporated this particular question along with that question or maybe next to it because this question is having three wave figures, okay? Three wave phase which with with which we need to solve it down it was uh, the earlier question was only uh, having a two phase which is uh, you were buying a particular security in one market and you are selling your security in another market okay here in you are having uh, three different dimensions you are selling some uh, security you are buying some security and at the same time uh, there is uh, two different additions to this particular stuff one there uh, there was no uh, such thing which was called as beta which was available in our that question in this question there is a beta value which needs to be taken care of and uh, again there are nifty futures also so it is merely a better and a bigger dimension for that particular question and now you will be sorted with this one and surely you will come to understand this thing it says uh, that the future which we need to uh, sold uh, be sold for the purchase position remember guys in this question we have been like first told that uh, ram is going to be buying a uh, 10000 shares of x limited for the price of 22 so i can simply say that ram ram has actually spent 2.2 lakh rupees on the shares of x limited clear guys sorted simple and at the same time he is selling 5000 shares of a limited at a price of 440 per share so again he is selling 5000 shares for a limited again so he will be uh, getting the money okay for 2 lakh rupees okay so he, he will be getting 2 lakh rupees while he uh, decides to sell the share of a limited today okay this is the current position now they are also telling us at the same time that uh, the beta uh, for x limited is 1.5 the beta value for a limited is 2 so which is the more riskier security as far as the only beta is concerned always uh, a limited a limited is a bit riskier security to uh, to purchase or uh, sell it because the beta value of a limited is higher than the beta value of x limited simple guys now what should be the future position that needs to be sold for a purchase position of another market ram just bought something in uh, one market okay he just bought x limited share for 2 lakh uh, 20000 rupees now again in order to ensure that uh, he basically square off his position in another market he needs to sell it out okay he needs to sell the position okay so what it's required to be done remember now the influence of beta comes into the picture the beta for x limited is 1.5 so i can simply say that as far as the overall market scenario is concerned 
the security of x limited is 1.5 times riskier than the overall market simple guys so what needs to be done since it is 1.5 times more uh, riskier than the market i just need to multiply 1.5 time with my buying position which was 2.2 lakh rupees and i'll come to know that i need to sell 3 lakh 30 thousand futures okay in order to hedge my position against my purchase position with, which i did in the spot market simple and technically on the very same lines uh, he has also sold his security for a limited okay and he sold the same for 2 lakh rupees now it is being told to us in the question itself that the beta for a limited is 2 again it is more riskier one so what needs to be done is he needs to protect and hedge its position by multiplying 2 lakh rupees with 2 which is the beta of a limited you will come to a figure of 4 lakh rupees so 4 lakh rupees future needs to be bought for your sale position simple guys this is one thing that needs to be done so what is your net purchase of futures if i'll talk about you bought something okay you bought 4 lakh rupees future and at the same time you sold 3 lakh 30 thousand rupees a future so what is your net purchase of future that is 70 thousand rupees now in the same question we have been told that the number of contracts which is required to be bought is 70 thousand divided by 1000 because 1000 is the normal future Side, uh, value which is he obtains a complete head by nifty future at 1000 each simple 1000 is the minimum price of nifty future so he needs to buy 70 contracts okay because the differential is of 70,000 rupees the number of future uh, net purchase of future which is required to be made is 70,000 70,000 needs to be divided by single future amount which is 1000 so overall 70 future contracts needs to be bought simple guys now comes the table part which is what is your gain or loss which is incurred by ram can be estimated by as follows so what is the today's valuation as far as the bot shares are concerned that i made you understand in the first part itself it is 2.2 lakh he uh, bought the shares of x limited at 2.2 lakh rupees and at the same time he sold the shares of a limited for 2 lakh rupees simple guys and we just bought something as far as the futures are concerned we bought the future for 70,000 rupees cool so we uh, bought two things okay 2.2 lakh rupees shares and 2. Uh, 70 lakh th thousand rupees long futures and at the same time we sold 2 lakh shares okay now what about my next day's valuation we just got to know that uh, tomorrow uh, Ram just wake up in the morning and he says okay my share that I purchased yesterday I have actually purchased it at a higher price because the share price has now dropped and I could have purchased it today and saved my rupees. So today's next day valuation is of his bought shares is 2,15,600. He bought something for 2.2 lakh, 2 lakh 22,000. And uh, he is having a current day's valuation of it as 2,15,600. So he has basically incurred a loss of 4,400 in the first scenario. Now coming to the second scenario, he has actually sold the shares of a limited for rupees 2 lakh now the shares have actually appreciated okay the the share price has appreciated he has already sold it for 2 lakh rupees now he is again having a picture in his mind that if in case he would have waited for the right opportunity he could have sold it at 1.5 time percent more as to what he has actually sold him so he could have sold those uh, shares for 2 lakh 6 thousand rupees and not 2 lakh so again he has made up a loss of 6 thousand in second uh, phase as well now coming to the last part which comes to be long future thing so he purchased the long futures yesterday at 70 thousand rupees now again the valuation for futures has declined now he is again of the picture that how unlucky am i am even losing on to the opportunity of gaining for long futures because he has already acquired something for 70,000 rupees. Now that particular stuff is actually declined. So the overall valuation of long futures the next day is only 68,950. Again, he has made up a loss of 1,050 rupees here. So he has actually made a net loss of 4,400, 6,000 and 1050, which comes out to be a total of rupees 14,450 rupees. This was the loss that was made only on behalf of one day's next valuation so this is something which he has incurred out of his pocket he has loosened out on a money of 14,450 rupees this was about the case of mr ram uh, this guy is really poor i mean he didn't he was just not able to get the best of any of the world 
neither in purchase market nor in sell market and um, not together in uh, the future market as well uh, pretty much unlucky chap so i just hope mr ram is uh, being taken care of well by the almighty surely he would be and he is able to get the next three meals of the day <laughs> i'm really thinking about the guys who are uh, the people who are living uh, in the regions of syria i was watching some of the videos and it's truly uh, like not so convincing about the world that uh, we are just not able to help another country who is in dire need of getting so much help it's it's about the poor all about us but then okay almighty is going to be taking care of them as well surely he will so clear guys sorted with this one i hope now you guys are super confident about the kind of stuff that will be asked in CFNL examination and definitely you will just bang on once the examination question paper appears in front of you. I am sure and I am hopeful about this thing that you must have liked this video. If in case you have found this video informative, if in case you have liked this video and if in case you know that this video is going to be really useful for your friends then do, do, do share it with as many people as you can. Thank you on behalf of the Edupedia world. Stay connected, guys. I will see you up in my next presentation. Till then, God bless you all. Sign up. Take care. Bye.